Hey Ira, how's it going? <laughs> Good, a little sweaty. Yeah, I just did your pound workout, which was amazing. Great energy Good. that you bring to the table. <laughs> yeah. I noticed that it was really important to you to like tell people how they're valuable, calling them rock stars. I mean, I, I've taken a, a conference from you before. That's really a part of your brand. It's is to uplift people. Yeah. For sure. I think it's valuable that I believe that, you know, we fix minds before we fix bodies and that if people really understood how much was in them, that they would be well, they'd be more well. I mean, we want people to be well. We want them to be their best version of themselves. So we have to introduce them to that part of them that, you know, is uniquely them that makes them. Yeah. Them. You were mentioning that you were teaching, starting a junior class with Pound and very inspiring, like especially these kids these days, they really need to be told that they're valuable because it's something that the grown-ups just, just pass by. They're yeah. so busy with their little screens and social media. Yeah. Uh, you call Pound your second wife. <laughs> <laughs> Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, I, I've been in the fitness industry for a very long time and I've always felt like it's really important to again to focus on people's mind and to release their inner rock star. And when Pound came along, it was something completely different and used music that I was not used to using and just really you got to be one with the music and become the music yeah. but at the same time just the message about you know I don't care if you feel like you belong in the back row there's something in you that's uniquely you and you belong in the front row and that my shirt says I'm with the band and I truly believe there's no audition needed Everybody has a part to play. It really works the brain cord and the, the eye to mind. You, you mentioned crossing the left and right hemisphere yeah. uh, connections. So a lot of good stuff. I found it really fast. It was hard to keep up. And I can see what you meant by like, you, you're really down low and not noticing because you're having so much fun. So your legs are really engaged. Yeah. Yeah, we call it strategic distraction, that we do an obscene amount of lunges and squats, but we're distracting it under music that's driving you and pushing you and making you go a little bit further and longer. The cool thing is, is once your body patterns that cross body symmetry, those movements repeat themselves throughout the workout. Right. So people really excel over the course of a couple of weeks of taking it. So mm -hmm. they find a move that they struggled with week one. They're already improving on it week two because they're constantly getting that auditory feedback Picking as it well. up. It's not yeah. that complicated. It's just a little different tweak. It's different. It's not it's step. It's different. I wasn't expecting <laughs> to uh, be on the floor like that, like engaged, abs engaged. That yeah. was a very nice surprise about it. Yeah, and then you get to feel like a real rock star during that section too. You just mentioned step. Uh, I was going to say, you know, two years ago I took a step conference from you and it hasn't been offered at Canford Pro here in Vancouver for two years. Do you think step is ever going to make a comeback? Oh, it's the question I get everywhere. I was in Calgary uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago at a conference and like, people were yelling down this hallway at me like, Ira, <laughs> step, we're step, there's no step on the schedule. And you know, I've been so busy with Pound and I've been traveling so much that I actually haven't submitted any step workshops right. to the conferences. So it, I haven't been there to choose, but I think everything in fitness does do this. And mm -hmm. I think Step has such die-hard fans. That yeah, 50, 50 years or older won't let, like I had to alternate like week one floor, week two. Yeah. Because I'm like, week one, like the floor is important to get newcomers in because Step is so intimidating yeah. choreography yeah. wise. But then like they won't let it go. Yeah. They just love it. No, I had somebody texting me while I was here at my home club saying, I talked to the girls at the front desk and they said maybe you can alternate step your cycle class. <laughs> Trying to like a bill. I always say step members are the ones that'll slit your tires in the parking lot if you give up a class because they're not Well the thing is is that other programs like boot camp or whatever use them. So yeah. they're around. That's why I do think it's gonna make a comeback. Yeah, I think everything like all the styles come back in fashion. I think yeah. Steps eventually gonna it'll come back somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be gone forever. Hopefully, we'll still be around by that time. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I really love about you is your sense of humor. I yeah. mean, it, it's it's something. Does it help make, make the classes go faster or enjoy your work more? I think I just I like people and I like spending time with people. So I think it's important that we just be us when we show up to a class. So. I like to joke around and I like to have fun, so 
just sometimes. And when I'm more tired, this is like my 13th weekend yeah. uh, traveling. <laughs> so when wow. I'm more tired, I tend to be a little bit more <laughs> on the humor side just because I'm sleepy and delusional, I think. Well, it's a gift. You should definitely cherish yeah. it. Well, thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ira. It was great having you yes, on my show. Yes, great seeing you again. Take care. <laughs> See you soon.